Now, MCC's in my ear. They're telling us we're one minute away from release. Our next set and our last set of checks before release are L minus 30. That's 30 seconds to release. And spaceship, five, three, two, one, release, release, release. Ignition. Good control. Trimming, that's turning, pulling the nose up. And trim is set. We're now traveling at approximately Mach 1.4. Mark. D, Landolfi, and Leo starting their experiments in their seat and having, it looks like I'm, <laughs> of course. Yep. The feather is moving, as you can see. Starting that backflip maneuver I spoke of. The feather is now. Amazing. And viva la Italia! <laughs> This is 100 years for the Italian Air Force, so happy centennial to the Air Force. This is absolutely incredible, and welcome to space astronauts. How absolutely incredible. Ben, ben, benvenito nello espacio. Congratulations. I've uh, achieved apogee at 85.1 kilometers, or 279,000 feet. Incredible. The pilots are currently doing the, completing the backfill maneuver, um, orienting the vehicle for re-entry. Now, just before 0.1 Gs, the pilots will give that return to, the, uh, return to seats call to the mission specialists. And our training team has worked this portion of the flight out so that it's very natural and intuitive for our passengers. For the mission it's at. That's right. We're at 61,000 feet now, continuing to descend in the feathered configuration. When we get down to about 53,000 feet, the pilots will lower command lower of the feather again and turn and cheer on the crew as they return to earth now the mission specialists on the flight are supported by an incredible team on the ground from both the air force and the center for national research in italy who designed and developed the research being conducted on board space-based research is an incredible so <clears throat> the pilots have uh, joined up with chase in the pattern and they're discussing that energy management plan they're going to be landing today on runway three four that, let's hold the nose up. That's a uh, flare maneuver. All part of the energy management. Main gear touchdown. So the pilots will continue to hold the nose gear in the air as we continue to bleed off some energy as we run down the runway. And at the designated airspeed, they will lower the nose gear as well. Nose gears down. Now, as our ground speed slows, when we reach a designated ground speed, the pilots will apply the brakes and bring the vehicle to a complete stop. 